The genitive is called a case, but it does not work at all the same way as the others. The genitive is kind of unloved, but why? Okay, let us see what it actually does. It's about ownership. Ownership in a broad sense. It's like of. But we need a story. We need some background. Let's start with a car. Ein Auto. Make it my car or your car. Mein Auto. Dein Auto. And if it's Peter's car, guess what we say? Peter's Auto. But if it's the man's car, I'd be tempted to say der man's Auto, but I'd be totally wrong. Shoot, why? Because we use the genitive. So with a named person, it works like English. Peter's Auto. But every other situation, it's different. So, how do we do it? The man's car becomes the car of the man. We just leave out the of part and instead use a slightly revised set of article endings. Here are the articles for the genitive case. Think, what is owned comes first. In the example, the man's car, it's the car that's owned. Let's put that first. Das Auto. Now, who owns it? The man. Der Mann, it's masculine. Put it together, what do we get? Das Auto des Mann. Well, yeah, almost. Des Mann sounds incomplete. When the article gets an S, then so does the noun. Mans, right? If only it were that simple. Looks like English without the apostrophe. So here's the thing. If a masculine noun ends with a consonant, like here, man ends with an N, then it gets an extra E to soften the sound, so it becomes das Auto des Mannes. How about another example? The parent's house. What is owned? The house. Das Haus. Who owns it? The parents. Die Eltern which becomes der Eltern to show possession. Der Eltern. Das Haus der Eltern ist groß. Wow, this is so much fun. I can't resist seeing it again. This time with a, an, a daughter's dream. What is owned? A dream, ein Traum. Who owns it? A daughter, eine Tochter. That becomes einer Tochter, giving us a daughter's dream. Ein Traum einer Tochter war lang, was long. Okay, we've started and we've got to finish this thing. A couple more variations. Customer is der Kunde. When a masculine noun ends in E, it picks up an N on the end instead of an S. I mean, would... Des Kundes really sound right? Compare with Des Kunden. This customer's spoon. Dieser Luffel. Des Kunden. And when we stick the concept into a sentence, we get This customer's spoon is dirty. Dieser Luffel des Kunden ist dreckig. How about this spoon of my customer is dirty? Dieser Löffel meines Kunden ist dreckig. You go to your parents' house. Parents is plural. Normally, die Eltern. Your parents is deine Eltern, which in the genitive ownership showing role becomes deiner Eltern. You go to your parents' house. Du gehst zum Haus deiner Eltern. It feels like we've packed a lot into this film. It feels like time to wrap it up. But I can't help adding just one more thing. It's about adjectives. What if it's your parents' old house? Old being the adjective here. Zum alten Haus deiner Eltern. No surprise. Adjective endings with en. But what if it's the old house of your rich parents? Zum alten Haus deiner reichen Eltern. Adjectives with the genitive are the same as the dative. Good news. 
They just add en. So here's the thing. The genitive is kind of a dying breed. I don't know why. Too much work. But it's elegant and it serves a very useful purpose. In these videos, we aim not to overcomplicate things. But I need to tell you, there is a way to show ownership without using the genitive at all. Do you want to know? Of course you do. Okay, so how? Well, you use the word fon. And fon is a dative word. So the dative gets drafted in to do the work of the genitive. My friends drink. Let's see it first in the genitive. Das Getränk meines Freundes. Using fon becomes das Getränk von meinem Freund. Is that easier? Hmm, yeah. So it's up to you. It's a personal decision. Save the genitive or help kill it. And that's ownership with the genitive. Not so bad. I find it best to not mix this idea up with the other cases. The genitive does something different. The genitive is the ownership case. And there you go. No more mystery. The genitive, I love it. Language gym, show up, work out.